Okay, now we're going to do the two hard problems on this hard ones magic number page that we already did six out of the eight problems for. If you recall, we said number four and number eight were hard, and by the time we're done, they're not going to be that hard because uh, we have a little power tool to be able to use and take the guess and check part out of the um, equation. So I'm going to take, I'm going to start with problem number eight because I think that one's a little easier one to show you why this is such a good tool. I'm going to write the problem down. Okay. Now, the first important part of this tool is this little factoring X that you're going to use. You're going to multiply your first coefficient times the last term. 3 times negative 18 is negative 54. Okay? Now I'm going to take the middle term and I'm going to put that down at the bottom because really when you think about what you've been doing, this is going to make sense. I'm looking for two factors of this number that add up to this number because that's how foiling works. So, two factors of 20 of 54. Well, 54, the first thing my mind goes to is 9 times 6 is 54, but not, I can't get 25 out of that. 18 times 3 is 54, I can't get 25 out of that. Let's cut it in half. 27 times 2, oh, there we go. I can get 25 out of that, right? 27 times, well, 27 times negative 2 is 54. 27 plus negative 2 is positive 25. I'm done with that. Okay, so now here comes the other really cool part. We kind of been doing this without the X. You don't have to have it, but it's a nice way to organize it. Okay, now this one we've been dealing with, I'm going to put in the two terms that you would already know, right? What we didn't know was how this was going to be distributed. How was I going to get 25X, right? And now I know. I'm going to have a 27x and a negative 2x. I now know that because of this tool. Now here's the part where I'm going to actually factor these out. Okay? I'm going to go across. I could go over to this side. The guy in the video goes to the bottom and the right. I'm so used to thinking in terms of the top and the side that I'm going to go that direction. It doesn't matter which side you go as long as you're consistent. What can I factor out of 3x squared and a negative 2x? Well, the only thing that's common between those two is x. So I'm going to put that one there. What can I factor out of 27x and negative 18? I can factor out a 9, right? Okay. Okay. And what can I factor? I'm going to go this way. What can I factor out of 3x squared and 27x? Well, they both have a 3 x in them, right? And if I go this way, what can I factor out of negative 2x and negative 18? They both have a negative 2 in them, okay? And now the only thing I really have to think about is this sign, but of course to get negative 18 on the end, that's going to have to be a plus. That's the only way I can get negative 18. And let's just double check it. 2 times, negative 2 times 9 is negative 18, right? Okay? 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 9 is 27x. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. These add up to 25x. There is my factorization right here. Okay? If I want to, I could just rewrite it down here. It is x plus 9 times 3x minus 2. Done. A lot easier than just trial and error or guessing and checking. It takes the guesswork out. Okay, now I'm going to do the second one. See if you can work ahead of me remembering the method. Okay, this one is number 4. 5x squared minus 46x plus 9. Okay? This is number 4 from your sheet. Okay, we just did this one. We're doing this one from the Hard Ones Magic Number Sheet. Okay? Now, I'm going to start 
figuring out factors first. 5 times 9 is 45. That's my A times C. The middle coefficient is negative 46. And I could say negative 46x. That's another way, but I'm leaving the x out because I know it's there. You could do this, though, so you don't lose track of it, especially if we have an equation that has a different variable. Okay? Okay, so what two factors of this are going to add up to this? Well, that was pretty easy. It's got to be 45 and 1, right? Double check the signs. Well, if I multiply negative 45 times negative 1, I get 45. If I add these together, I get negative 46. And, of course, we're going to have x's here, right? So now we drop this in our grid because we now have all our inside terms. We're just going to work outwards. 5x squared, 9. And now I know that this has to be negative 45x, and this has to be negative x. And now I just pull out factors, okay? So this way, 5x and x, all I can pull out of that is an x, right? Going this way, negative 45 and 9, what can I pull of that? A 9. This is 5 times 9. Now going the other direction, between negative x and 9, I can't really factor anything out but a 1, okay? And then between 5x squared and 45x, I can pull out a 5x from each one of these, okay? And now I just have to look at the signs. Well, in order to get positive here and a negative here, one has to be negative. Both of them have to be negative, right? So that makes it easy, okay? So... Let's double check. 5x squared, and I needed these two to add up to negative 46x, right? These two here, and they do. And then negative 1 times negative 9 is 9. That all checks out, okay? Our solution to this one, our factored solution is x minus 9 times 5x minus 1. I hope you like that technique. I did. I'll see you guys on Tuesday.